Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And Secretary Connor and General Spellman, it's great to see you both. Before I ask questions, I want to just commend the work of the Corps in the Portland District Office in advancing the Portland Metro levee system. It's a 27-mile levee system along the Columbia River. Uh, General Spellman, you were the commanding general at Northwestern Division when the project got underway, and it, great to, it would be great to see the project come full circle by getting into the construction phase, and I look forward to working with you to see that happen. Thank you. Uh, the Coal Rivers Hatchery, named for an individual, not for a river, the Coal Rivers Hatchery is on the Rogue River, and it plays an absolutely critical uh, role. Colonel Michael Helton, an hour retired, went down with me, and when we came to the recognition of how many different native fish populations and different rivers that it provided, and also uh, uh, rainbow trout for various lakes, and the, the hatcheries in, in great trouble uh, because of the clean, lack of clean water and disease that could shut down the hatchery and just kind of 30 years of uh, wear, and, wear and tear. So restoring that hatchery to its full functionality is incredibly important. And the Army Corps, uh, to do so, needs to identify significant capability for this project. Do you commit to working with the Portland District and my staff and with me in identifying as much capability as possible for restoring the Coal River Hatchery? Yes, sir. Uh, General, thank you very much. I want to turn to tribal housing on the Columbia River. When the dams were built on the Columbia River, uh, the, uh, the town for Caucasians that was uh, put inundated uh, was rebuilt, but the, uh, the villages, the native villages, were never re rebuilt. And so we've been working intensely to try to create, uh, well, right that, that wrong from now three quarters of a century ago. And um, the Army Corps uh, released last month the implementation plan for the village development plans for the tribes. And what timeline do you expect to reach the implementation phase of the plan and begin construction on, on housing? Yes, sir. I would just start off my response by saying we are in a much better place than we were five, six years ago when we stepped off on this effort, where we were trying to combine the tribes into one consolidated village. Uh, the, the, the direction we're going now are separate sites for each of the tribes. We are we, we're in the process now of identifying the needs and the potential locations, which bank, what site, so that we can get on with the uh, village development plan. So we're about six months into the real estate, uh, um, going down what the, uh, the options are, and then we'll be able to get into more meaningful discussions on the specifics of each one of those, uh, each one of those villages. So we have the resources we need, and we are in a much better place with the, with the impacted tribes than we've ever been in the past. Well, I, I really uh, appreciate that, uh, that observation. And all the easy to develop land has been developed along both sides, the North Bank and the South Bank of the river, which means it will never be easy uh, to find these sites. Uh, they'll be expensive, they'll be difficult to provide infrastructure, but it's so important that we address uh, this, this situation, uh, that um, uh, a legacy wrong that we need to, to write. And by the way, the Confederated Tribes of the Warm Springs Reservation of Oregon and the Confederated Tribes of the Umatilla Indian Reservation have expressed optimism and appreciation for the level of engagement they've had with the Army Corps at this point. So you're all really doing a great job. And uh, I'm uh, very much in, impressed by what you've done. And, and I understand you're planning to continue regular engagement with the tribes. Yes, sir, that's correct. Yes, thank, thank you. In particular, the tribes have noted the Corps is further along on the displacement assessments for the Bonneville and Dalles Dam pools. Will you also work to expedite the displacement assessments for the John Day and McNary pools? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. 